Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now, I was on vacation this weekend because I was supposed to take a trip, me and my daughter. We were supposed to go somewhere, but then it fell through. So Friday, we went and seen Scream. Well, I had a couple friends of mine said, hey, we're going to go see 65. You still going with us? And that was on a Saturday. And I said, yeah, I'll go see it. I said, man, I forgot all about 65. Here, what I'm going to tell you about 65. I know it's not that good of a movie, but for me, it don't take much to make me happy. I done told y'all that. Now, if y'all want to review a 65, I suggest you go to the other YouTube channels because there's a bazillion of them out there that likes to do reviews. I can't do reviews, but I could see what they were trying to do. You know, this guy, you know, he had to do a two-year journey. He had, you know, he, he had to fly the spaceship and transport all these people, and they ran into some meteor shield, and he had this little girl... And she knew he's going to be gone for two years and he uh, wasn't going to see her. Open up that way and then he, he's, he's captain of this big spaceship and the spaceship's got all these pods with these people sleeping and stuff. And he runs into this asteroid thing and then, you know, it tears the ship apart and he hurls to this planet that looks like Earth, you know. But in the meantime, he, his daughter got sick and she died and he wasn't there for her. So, you know, he's bummed out about that. So, you know, part of the ship was destroyed most of the people that was in them sleeping pods you know how they got that thing where they all in the thing like aliens you know most of them die so as the movie progresses he runs into this little girl survives happens to be a little girl so they have this escape ship and they send out the stress signal the stress signal so he has to make it to the other part of the uh this area this uh, the the other part of the ship that crashes over in you know so many miles away on top of this this peak somewhere so he's got it zoned in he's trying to get there and he's trying to communicate with this chick this little girl but this little girl don't speak english so while they're trying to get to this thing they got all these prehistoric creatures man it looked like it looked like earth 65 million years you know earth 65 million years but look i told you guys before and i will tell you again I am like a little kid. I remember being a little kid. My mom would give me money, and I lived in this little town, and I would run down to the theater and watch a movie. Again, it don't take much to please me, okay? So, yes, I do know this movie is not that good, but I enjoyed it. I could see what they was trying to do with it. There was a lot of good scenes in here. I Yes, could it have been better? Yes, it could. But for the most part, man, them daggone dinosaurs and that... And then, uh, you know, I guess you call it CGI and all that. They did a really good job. I probably will buy this digital copy because I did enjoy this movie. Him and this girl, you know, they can't communicate. and he, They communicate somehow. And then, you know, she ends up finding this thing. And, you know, she plays a video of this little girl. And he says, where'd you get that? You know, but she, I think she speaks Spanish or something like that. I don't know. But I liked it, you guys. And, you know, it was great because it was a good weekend. I went to go see Scream on Friday with my daughter. And then I enjoyed that. And then the next day, my two buddies that asked me to go see 65, which I'm talking about right now, I went with them. And then we went to, uh, you know, a sports bar. We had some hot wings. And we only drank one beer because I don't drink that much. And then we had, and we would sit and talk. Those guys talk about politics so much. It just works my nerves. But anyway, I'm like, oh, you guys talk about this again. But anyway, they're my friends. But overall, you guys, I, Adam Driver did a good job. But I know there's going to be some critics out there that's going to slice and dice this. And I can see why. But for me, again, I enjoyed this because I'm like a little kid that likes to watch movies. I told you guys before, when I go, folks, before, when I go to the theater, I turn off all my worldly problems and I get immersed into that movie. And then when I walk out those doors, I come back out into the real world. I told you that before. So anyway, I like this movie, but it was, <laughs> it was, man, there was some good stuff in here. There, you know, for, for lack of, it lacks something. I get that. It lacks something. I mean, it lacks something. It, something was lacking in this. But my two buddies, you know, that one guy, he's retired. And the other guy, he's 54 and now I'm in my 60s, so, you know, all the ages vary. Uh, but for the most part, I enjoyed it. I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, I enjoyed this movie. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, it is not a good movie. But I ain't going to tell you right off the bat, it's not a bad movie either. So, 
If you want to go to a critic who likes to slice and dice and break down and put all their little tidbits in there, there's plenty of them out there. And they will open your eyes to a lot of stuff that this movie was lacking. Because I understand there was something lacking in this movie. But as far as them, you know, the CGI and them, them dinosaurs, man, they were spot on. And them trying to get from point A to point B. And there was so many climaxes and stuff in there. It was just, just I enjoyed it, you guys. I really did. So... Is it a 10? No. Is it 8? No. I give it a 6.5, but I enjoyed it. Remember, I enjoyed it. So, God bless and take care. And that's my take on 65. God bless. We'll see you next video.